Hey YouTube, this is Tom at Buxton Auto. Have you ever been cruising a Craigslist or a Facebook ad and saw where the ad in small print somewhere somebody puts, you just need to file for a lost title? Like they've lost the title and it's a really simple thing to do. Just file for a lost title. Today, I'm going to show you, one, how to verify that you can just follow for a lost title. Two, how to verify that the person you're buying the car from is the actual owner. Because if they're not, and you don't have the right forms, you can't file for a lost title. You'll need to get a bonded title. By the way, I have a video about bonded titles. I'll put the link for that video down below in my comments section. Anyway, the name of my company is Buxton Auto. I'm a buy here, pay here car dealer here in Fate, Texas. I buy several cars a month without titles. Some are easy to get their titles to, some take a little more time. I'm gonna show you how to do it. So hit the like and subscribe button below and we'll get going. All right, so the first thing we have to do is to determine if the seller is actually the registered owner or not. And this is a yes or no, it doesn't matter what other crap they tell you, it's a yes or no. The question you ask them is, are you the registered owner of the vehicle? If they say, yes I am, then filing for a lost title this way will work. Any other answer is a no. If they say, I have a bill of sale, no, they're not the registered owner. It's my friend's car, no, you're not the registered owner. But dude, I got it from lost the title, and he wrote me a bill of sale, and I got a registration. No, you're not the owner. The only way they are the registered owner is if they can provide you proof that the vehicle was registered in their name. Now, you can buy a 30-day pass, with a, which is basically a temp tag, and that one you print out your own paperwork for. That is not the registered owner. You want the vehicle registration, the one that you get when you get your license plates, and it has your name, your address, all that. Not even a proof of insurance card will do the job. Okay, so once you've verified that the person who's selling the car actually has the title in their name, Basically, you have seen the registration and you know it's in their name. That's the only document you accept. If it's during working hours, you'll want to call your regional Texas DMV office. If you put in your Google search bar, Texas Regional DMV office, it'll give you their phone number. Now, these people are not going to tell you who the registered owner is without a form filled out. What they will tell you is if there is an active lien on the car. An active lien could be that the guy doesn't have the title, it's not in his name because he went and got a title loan on it. Or it could mean that he paid the car off five years ago and then lost the title that had the release of lien on it. So the DMV has no idea that there is no lien. So what you will do is you will call them. You will say, I'm wanting to buy a car from a gentleman with uh, no title. The gentleman's name is X. Can you tell me if it's in his name? They may or may not tell you if it's in his name. They probably will not. But the next question is, can you confirm for me that there are no liens on this vehicle? They generally will tell you that. If that doesn't work, you can go to your local county tax office, fill out a request for information, pay them $2, but generally you won't, you won't need to do that. So what you will need, let's say the vehicle is in that person's name. You're sure of it. You've seen the registration. It's in Joe Smith's name at Joe Smith's address. There's no liens, and Joe Smith just lost his title. You'll need Texas Form VTR 34. There's a link to it down below. It looks like this. It's a wonderful form. In a nutshell, you're going to put in the vehicle information. The recipient information, rather than being Joe Smith, you're going to put your name because we're gonna have the title sent directly to you so you don't ever have to see Joe Smith again. Then you'll need a picture of Joe Smith's ID. He has to provide that for you to get this form. You'll have Joe Smith sign the bottom of the form and you'll fill in his driver's license or ID card, passport information and send a copy of it to your local DMV office. Also on the back side of the form, Backside, there is the address to the local DMV office where you're going to send this form. If you're mailing it in, it takes a whole two dollars to get it done. So, two dollars, this form, Joe Smith's ID, and you'll have a copy of the title sent directly to you. 
So now you would get your, back, your title back in about two weeks. The problem is it's not signed. Do you want to go back to Joe Smith and have him sign it? And Willie, mm, he's got his money. He's probably going to be hard to find. So while you're there with Joe Smith and you're getting documents signed, you'll also want to take Texas Form VTR 271, which is a limited power of attorney. And you'll fill that out. There are directions on both of these documents that tell you exactly what to do, so I don't really need to go line by line. But if you have Joe Smith fill out your limited power of attorney, then you can sign Joe Smith's name to the back of the title legally, and it's not felony forgery. So I always get the certified copy of title. I own a business. I have it sent to my business name. And I have the customer sign the... Uh, limited power of attorney. And then the title will show up at my house, or my business rather, uh, about two weeks later. I can sign Joe Smith's name legally to the back of the title to transfer it into my dealership name. Or if you're an individual, you can sign as the seller and provide your power of attorney. And you would sign it as the buyer to put it into your name and get it done. So those are the two forms that you need to do your Texas file for a lost title okay remember don't fall for it if you can't verify that the car is registered not insured not bill of sale registered in that person's name also if there are two people on the name like a husband and wife you will need a copy of the id from both of those people and you will need signatures on the bottom of vtr 34 from both people if you don't have that the state will kick it back so it's very simple it's this form VTR 34 copy of the ID for anybody that signs it two dollars is what you send in on a money order to get it processed and if it is still got a lien on it you have to have a release of lien and you have to send the original release of lien. Sometimes people get a letter from their bank that says it's paid off. They have the release of lien, but they didn't have it with their title. If the state shows there is a lien, you need to mail in the release of lien. This is often much easier with legitimate sellers that have lost their titles. Many, many, many times it's actually people that are not the registered owner. And in that case, you're going to need to get a bonded title. If you get a bonded title, that's a different process. It costs more money. And I have a video linked down below, which is actually my most popular video, on how to do a bonded title in Texas. I hope this video was informative. I hope it shows you exactly what you do to get it done. Feel free to message me if you have questions on how to fill the form out, but there are good instructions on the form. If you take a minute to like and subscribe, I do several things on my channel. One, obviously, is I plug my my uh, inventory on my vehicles. Uh, two, I do various things about title work here in Texas uh, that answers questions for folks. And I have an occasional rant or something of that nature. If you like this, if this helped you out, if you hit me a thumbs up, if you think I'm a fat slob, doesn't know what I'm talking about, hit me a thumbs down. Put in the comments, hey man, this is great. Put in the comments, hey, you're a fat bastard and I can't believe I wasted my 10 minutes watching your video. But there it is. That is how to get a certified copy of the Texas title legally. It's the only way to do it. And if you have any other questions, let me know. Don't forget, like, subscribe, and hit the notification button. Thanks, guys. Have a great day.